Hey guys, JMM Review here, and uh, today I'm doing a quick unboxing video of a new game. I was asked by uh, the new Techno Beat on YouTube if I could uh, recommend any games that I'm getting or anything that I'm looking forward to, and this is pretty much something I've been looking forward to a while now. Um, and really, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to tell people that they should buy this instead of buying the the announced Metal Gear Solid, which I, can't, I think it's Metal Gear Solid 5, I think we're on, um, just as a kind of boycott, because if we keep on buying these games just because of their names, and not because of how it actually plays, then the game developers will think it's okay for them to do that. But more about that later, let's open the game up and see what we are dealing with here, it's kind of hard to do this while I'm holding a camera, let's see, there we go, let's see what we get, uh, oh it's two discs, cool, and quite a hefty booklet which you don't normally get, it's got a bit of weight in it, oh download code, <laughs> you aren't seeing that, I guess that's a code. Now I've got some nice artwork and seeing my code again. Um, Alright, let's stick the game in and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we've got Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Gear, Sons of Liberty on this disc. Uh, I'll start with 2. 2 is like... In my opinion, 2 was better than 3. Um, I just couldn't really get into 3 that much and I didn't play it until quite late on. Uh, I guess we'll just stay on. Yeah, I think if more people buy this version, it kind of sends a message to Konami and to other uh, game developers out there that we're not going to just keep buying whatever they put out uh, just because they keep making they keep making the uh, genres of games action now, which I'm really getting sick of because I want to play some different types of genre than just action all the time, and just because the action genre sells more doesn't mean that it's a better genre. You know, you need a bit of a break from the action genre now and then, so. Games like this, games like Splinter Cell, games like Resident Evil, were the perfect break from that. Um, and we're losing that, we're losing uh, our choice really. And uh, I'm personally not going to put up with it, I'm not going to buy the new Metal Gear Solid. It looks like a mixture of Devil May Cry, uh, some of the characters look like they're from Soul Calibur. Um, yeah, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy an action game based on the Metal Gear Solid characters. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Although, in saying that, I probably will buy Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I'm going to skip this cutscene, actually. I probably will buy uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And mainly because it's like a zombie game. But anyway, like I said, I just got this game, it has just been released where I live. Um, so I'm going to spend the next afternoon playing it. And uh, who knows, I might give it a review uh, if I ever get time. But I would recommend other people to get this one, rather than the new Metal Gear Solid they're bringing out, because it's not a stealth game. Even if you don't buy this one, I wouldn't recommend you buying the new one. Because, uh, like I said, I'm just really sick of seeing some of my favourite game series as being changed. And I'd like to think I'm not the only one, but, you know, let me know what you think. If you think maybe it is a good idea that they're changing, uh, I think I'd like to see how you would justify that. I'll just leave you guys with some quick footage of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, um, in case you guys are thinking about buying it.
Ha 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 